I want to discuss one of the most debilitating skin diseases that affects a lot of young people and it's something that I try my hardest to address with my formulations of skincare and that's acne. Now acne is a chronic condition, you cannot cure acne so we have to wait till the hormones reach a, a burnout level. What we can do is we can address the symptoms of acne and alleviate acne but we can't actually cure it, that's up to your body and that will work itself out at a time when the body is ready to reach hormonal burnout. Now, acne is a multitude of, of symptoms and a multitude of effects. And people often just try and deal with something like dealing with the bacteria with peroxide. I personally don't believe in peroxide. Peroxide, the chemical formula is H2O2. It is an oxidant. It oxidizes the cells. And it's exactly the opposite of what I try and achieve with skincare is, is use antioxidants. So it actually creates free radicals in the skin. Apart from bleaching pillowcases with benzoyl peroxide, we know it kills bacteria, but the side effect is the irritation it can cause on the skin. And the problem with acne is one of the major causes of acne is inflammation. Let me just show you a little bit about what happens with acne and, and what, what's happening inside the follicle. So here's a cross section of the skin, and this is actually a pore here with the, with the hair that grows out of it. Now inside the pore, we, it's lined with cells. In acne sufferers, those cells overproduce. And in normal people, they maybe shed every 30 to 35 days. In acne sufferers, it's much faster. So all those skin cells are shedding to the outside, but they're also getting caught up in here in the follicle. So you've got an excess of dead skin cells. You've also got an excess of oil because the hormones in acne sufferers are causing the follicle here to produce excess oil. So that oil's being dumped into the oil gland with all those cells. So it's a lovely feeding source for the acne bacteria. Now we all have acne bacteria in our skin, but in acne sufferers, they've got an overgrowth of bacteria, especially because of this wonderful food source, all these dead skin cells and all this oil. So basically the bacteria is having a party and when the bacteria metabolizes this food, it gives off inflammatory factors. And that's what can cause severe inflammation, redness and even infection. So we need to deal with so many levels. We need to deal with the inflammation. We need to deal with the oil. We need to deal with the bacteria and the overproduction of skin cells. Not just one factor, it's a multi-layered approach. So that's why I believe that acne needs to be dealt with in a quite a complex way. It's not just about the skin care, it's also about diet and lifestyle, which I could do, uh, I'll talk about it in a, another day because that's a whole video in itself. But let's talk about the ingredients that we need to address acne. So we can have low level acne, which is just blackheads and whiteheads. So really that just needs a good exfoliant and a really good exfoliant is Reveal, which is a blend of alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acid. So that's actually going to cause the dead skin to slough off. And the beta hydroxy acid actually goes into the pore and actually cleans out the debris and the oil and the muck inside the pore. A great way of clearing out the debris and working on blackheads and whiteheads. If you just need to also regulate your oil processes, vitamin A and B is excellent for that. So you'd use that at night. And if you have a problem with acne scarring, that's when vitamin C comes in, which is a fantastic product to use to minimize the appearance of pigmented scarring. If you have ongoing blemishes and large pimples, then I would suggest you use our product Blemix on, as a spot pimple treatment on the actual pimples themselves. And that reduces oil, um, it helps to dry out the pimple, it addresses the bacteria, and it also addresses the overgrowth of skin cells. It's got a multitude of ingredients that addresses acne on all levels. So what's the ideal skincare routine for an acne sufferer? Well, I would use exfoliating serum on one part of the day, um, away from the A and B. In the morning, for example, make sure you use the sun protection over it and you'd probably be using Ultra Cleanse over BioCleanse as your foaming cleanser. So you'd use Reveal in the morning. Your sunscreen, you could use either Uber Zinc or moisturiser like Hydrogel, which is our oil-free moisturiser, plus you'd use um, your Synergy Minerals as your makeup. In the evening, you'd use vitamin A and B because they'll regulate, help to regulate oil processes and cell turnover and also help to hydrate the skin because the skin can be oil, excess oil, but, but low water content. 
And of course, you'd use your hydrogel moisturiser at night because you need a low oil moisturiser. You don't want heavy oils on your skin if you're suffering from acne, and you also have, have to address inflammation. It's a very complex chronic condition. It can be controlled, but it cannot be cured. So we need to um, not overpromise. Um, and deliver the best results that you can expect with topical ingredients.